Hello everybody, welcome to Be At Home with Mr. Holmes. Today we're going to be doing something a bit different. Today we're going to be playing some throw tennis. Now for this one you are going to need a ball. I've got a large ball to start with but I've also got a small tennis ball ready to go in a minute. You're going to need someone to play with. You need an adult at home or something like that. And you need to set up an area where we can make a pretend tennis court. So I've made in my garden a pretend tennis court using cones as the sidelines and the baselines. And I've got some chairs as the net in the middle. Find anything that you can mark out a rectangle with, with a net in the middle. I'm going to head over to the other side and then we'll start to teach you how to play. The first thing I want you to do is have one person on one side of the net, one person on the other side of the net. One of you starts with the ball, you can start behind whatever you decide the baseline is. My baseline is blue cones, I'm going to start behind to serve. Now every shot in throw tennis, underarm um, throw. I don't want to see any overarm smashes. It's going to be too tricky to play the game. Your partner is going to catch the ball after one bounce. They must let the ball bounce. It's very important. So start with, we're just going to have a rally and then we'll turn it into competitive a little bit later on. So start behind the line. I'm going to underarm serve. One bounce. Your partner catches. Well done Mrs. Holmes. And then you throw it back from wherever you catch the ball. So catch the ball. Throw back. Catch the ball, throw back. See how many you can get in a row. We're still using a large ball. After a while, you might want to switch to a smaller ball to make things a bit trickier. Let's see if we can get to 10 in a row. One, two, three, four. Notice when I'm getting ready to catch, I have a nice ready position. Just like when we're catching um, by ourselves, knees bent, feet apart, shoulder width apart, hands forward, eyes on the object. See if we can carry on to ten. Five. Six. If I wasn't in the ready position, I would have dropped that one because it bounced really, really low. Seven. Eight. To a competition. You are trying to beat your partner. Want to think to yourself now, where am I going to place my ball to try and make it hard for the opposition to catch it? Am I going to place it towards them? Am I going to place it away from them? What do you think? Hopefully you came up with the answer that you want to get the ball away from the person that's on the other side of the net to make it tricky for them. We're going to have first to three points and then we'll talk about what's happened in those points. We use a large ball first, remember to serve from behind the line. Zero, zero. We carry on the point. Oh, if the ball doesn't go over the net properly, it's a point to the other person. One nil to Mr. Holmes. Mrs. Holmes can have a serve now. So, notice again, I'm in a ready position. Am I in the middle of the court? Am I on the side of the court? What's best and why? Tell the person you're playing with what you think. Hopefully you decided that the best thing was to be in the middle of the court. That way you can go to the left hand side, the right hand side, front, back. Let's go. Good rally Mrs. Holmes. Mr. Holmes 2, Mr. Holmes 0, Mr. Holmes has another serve. One more point for me to win. Serve from behind the line. Oh. And Mr. Holmes wins that game 3 0. Come back in a second. So we've swapped sides now so you can see what I'm doing from this side. We've now switched to a small ball. I'm going to play again. This time we'll play first to five, see what happens. Remember, ready position when you're receiving the ball. Serve from the back of the court. You must let the ball bounce. You're trying to beat your partner, not have a long rally. Zero, zero. Have a look where we're putting the ball. Are we putting it in the same place every time? 
Are we trying to move the other person around? Mr. Holmes one, Mrs. Holmes zero. So serve you behind the cones. I'm in the ready position. Good serve. Oh, good shot by Mrs. Holmes there. One, one. Why do you think I was able to win that point? Where did I put the ball? It was hard for Mrs. Holmes to catch. Yeah. I put it to the back of the court. That made it much more tricky for her to get that catch. It's 2-1 to Mr. Holmes, Mrs. Holmes to serve. There's a new rule we haven't seen yet. That ball bounced out. It went behind the lines and therefore I lost the point. Miss Holmes gets the point. It's 2-2. Two, two. My turn. Now again, that bounce out the back. So remember, whose point is that? It's Mrs. Holmes's point. 3-2 to Mrs. Holmes. First to five, remember. That was a double bounce. Is it allowed to bounce twice? No, it's not. Mrs. Holmes' point again is 4-2. Let's see if I can mount a comeback. Mrs. Holmes four, Mr. Holmes three. Now it's my turn. Oh, out. out. So in throw tennis, you don't get a second serve, which means that it's four four, and it's now next point wins on Mr. Holmes's serve. Oh. And there you have it, Mr. Holmes five. Mrs. Holmes 4, I want you to see if you can play and improve your netball skills. Good luck everybody.